the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones video. In this video, I will explain why HBO is all of a sudden releasing so many Game of Thrones related videos on their social media accounts. Now, maybe some of you haven't even noticed, but the official Game of Thrones YouTube channel has re-released all of their trailers for the series. I know I found this to be interesting because it had been well over a year since they released anything on their channels. This has left many fans wondering why they did this. HBO's official YouTube channel has released some Game of Thrones related videos as well. I know when I woke up the other day and noticed all of these videos, I was definitely wondering what was happening. It actually made me very excited again because it reminded me of the days when HBO would release some new footage from Game of Thrones, then I would have to race home so I could make a video about it as soon as I could. Now, although I have seen some of these videos before, I did watch a few of them again. This is when I also noticed there was a lot of speculation surrounding the sudden release of all these Game of Thrones videos. Some fans are wondering if they did this so they can generate some new excitement for the release of their upcoming series, House of the Dragon. Other fans are also wondering if they did this because they are secretly making a new season of Game of Thrones or something else involving the main story. Well, the answer is rather simple. HBO will be celebrating a decade of Game of Thrones with its month-long event, The Iron Anniversary. There's nothing in the world more powerful than a good story. Not armies. Not gold. Nothing can stop it. No enemy can defeat it. You're in the great game now. And the great game is terrifying. It has already been a decade since HBO first released Game of Thrones back in April of 2011. HBO will be offering fans a new way to experience this series while they're still developing their new upcoming series, House of the Dragon. There has been some speculation that filming will begin on the new series this month. I have made some videos on that already. Now, this Iron Anniversary this month will include a range of features and events for Game of Thrones viewers, from personalized HBO Max episode curations, a Game of Thrones marathon, and more throughout the month of April. Starting Monday, HBO Max users will see a Game of Thrones Spotlight page, which will bring them to episode curations for casual fans, or those new to the series, or spoiler-laden curations featuring Easter eggs for diehard fans. It will also include more than 150 behind-the-scenes videos and extras, cast interviews, clips, and trailers. Later this month, on April 10th, HBO will begin the Game of Thrones marathon with all episodes from the very beginning airing on HBO2 starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The marathon will challenge fans to binge the entire series on HBO Max to help raise money for global charities including Women for Women International, World Central Kitchen, UNICEF, and The Trevor Project. For two weeks during the marathon, Game of Thrones cast members will rally on fans as they binge watch the series for a good cause. Now, to make the marathon a little easier, superfans and influencers will receive a custom kit of essentials. The marathon will also feature six different routes to offer direction to viewers who want to experience the series in a new way. From episode collections focused solely on Daenerys Targaryen's journey, to those spotlighting the series' action-packed battles. So, if you are still wondering why HBO has suddenly released all of these Game of Thrones videos, now you know. I know I will definitely check out some of this myself. I am interested in seeing some of the extras, like the behind-the-scenes footage, as well as the interviews with the actors from the show. Now, I know there are a lot of fans who say they will never watch Game of Thrones again, but I'm not one of them. In fact, I've already watched the entire series since it ended. I still have my own issues with how it was ended, that's no secret, but I don't let it stop me from enjoying every aspect of the story. There are still a lot of things that I love about the show. Now, if you're a little disappointed they're not making a new season of Game of Thrones, then I would recommend checking out some of the recent videos I have released on this channel. I have been making my own version of Game of Thrones Season 9 in hopes of answering some of the show's biggest mysteries. 
Now, it won't be as good as the real thing, of course, because it's not live action, or anywhere near as good storytelling like George R. R. Martin's, but maybe you will find it interesting or entertaining in some way. Who knows, if you give it a chance, maybe you will like it. As of right now, I have released three episodes with many more on the way. As always, if any new information is released regarding Game of Thrones or any of their other shows in development, I will fill you in on the details as soon as I can. Until then, I will get back to making my next episode. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.